sorry to barge in, boss, but I've just been outside and someone's stolen the portable classroom. Yes, you're a wanker. Like your father before you. I had no idea. I mean, I knew about Dad. So you're sick, you reckon, yeah? Oh, well, we should probably get you out of those clothes then, Julia. I think I'll leave my clothes on, Stefan. Okay, no problem. Don't mind if I uh, take mine off, though, do you? Oh, I see the problem. She's got a metal plate in her head and two pacemakers in her chest. Once those gates went up, there was no way she was getting out of here alive. She's irritating, she's arrogant, she's so up herself, it makes me sick. But you love her. Don't you, Dan? <clears throat> She's perfect. You are all creative, intelligent human beings, and this is your chance to prove it, you moronic little bastards. None of you know who my son is. Come on, Simon. Maybe his name's Peter. I've got one here for a Peter, and I'm bugging if I know who he is. You realise no one's been finding you very sexy lately, Stefan, and I don't need to tell you how important it is to have a staff member who is, if you'll pardon the expression, a bit of a hornbag. Can I ask you a question, Helen? Sorry, is there a book on how to manage female moustaches? It's just if there is, you should have a flick through it. I don't think there is, Stuart. That is OK. It's not even your fault. I did see a book for you, though. Huh? It's called Stuart as an offensive dickhead, and everyone at the school hates Stuart. That sounds hilarious. I'm sorry, but I'm not all that comfortable with this either. You see, in my opinion... But, Felix, should... your opinion isn't valid here. Well, I think I'm entitled to my opinion. No, Felix, we took a vote on that in the last meeting, and it was unanimously carried that you're not entitled to your opinion. Yes. yes. Oh. oh, sorry, I, uh, I didn't realise. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Felix! Stay. <laughs> It's already started.